When you bring a reptile into captivity, it can be quite a stressful experience from them, for snakes especially. When you grab a snake from the wild and put it into a captive environment, the snake gets quite stressed out. And one of the typical reactions that a snake has when it's stressed is to stop feeding. Obviously, when you stop feeding, there's a possibility you can die. So when a snake comes into captivity, it's a very important thing just to leave it alone and let it settle in. Snakes won't eat through half of the year when it's cold, uh, but they will begin to eat when it starts to warm up. A lot of snakes leave eating till right at the end of the hot season and then they gorge themselves. Every snake has a different type of feeding regime. Every individual snake likes to feed differently. Some snakes will feed every single day if they get the chance. Other snakes will feed once a week if they get the chance. And some snakes will only gorge themselves for about one week of the year. So if you do find that a snake is not eating, perhaps it's because it's running on a different feeding regime, or perhaps the snake is highly stressed. If you feel that a snake is stressed and not eating, it's a really good idea to take it down to the vets. Uh, most of the snakes here at the Reptile Centre go for the entire winter without food, and then when it begins to warm up at the end of spring, beginning of summer, most of the animals start to feed by then. There's a few species of snakes, mainly the northern snakes, that won't start to feed until it gets really, really hot. And that's because they need the heat and the temperature to be able to digest that food because they live in the hotter parts of Australia.